In this lesson, we will cover the SharePoint HTTP request communication site. The list employees, title, first name, last name. New flow, instant cloud flow, SharePoint HTTP request. Manually trigger for create add an action send an HTTP request request to SharePoint <coughs> site put the site address method get underscore API slash web slash lists slash get by title name of the list employees uh, items select is equal to first name test <laughs> manually test run continue run done how many first name one two three four and two blanks It's for always APIs, dollar, save. Test, manual, test. First name one, first name two, third, four and one null two null you see null here because of these two now what should be done so that it becomes a json uh -uh. Except application JSON semicolon 
for data equal to no metadata. Test. Test. Run flow. Done. It's better. It's better. Definitely better. If you want to see the raw output, you can still see the output. After having done that, Let's play a little bit with SharePoint API and this is only for playing. Let's get last name also. and then apply some fil filter and dollar filter is equal to first name equal to First name one. Let's see this. I'm getting some hiccups, so please excuse me. But I wanted to show this, so I decided to continue. We are getting first name, last, last name both. But what happened to the other record because of this filter? So now we are using SharePoint REST API to ext extract the value and apply filter. 